What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicole and I just had a baby three months ago and I'm just here documenting my journey. So if you want to stick around, I'd really appreciate it. You can hit that subscribe button and follow along. Um, I have a very busy day. I'm currently creating a to-do list. My dog has a Kong. Um, but I'm currently just creating a to-do list for the day and letting Naira play on her little play area. Um, and then we're going to do some sensory play and all of that. So I'm really excited and I figured I would document it. She is three months old and she looks so big. Look at this big baby. Um, I will be doing a three month update in this vlog as well um because i've been really enjoying doing those and um a lot of you guys have been telling me that you like it and enjoy it as well but so we'll be doing a three month update um and how she's been doing and all the new things um and yeah but right now like i said i'm just letting her play on her play mat um i'm gonna do my devotional i've been doing um a devotional on on the bible app and it's called crazy love by francis chan um and i've been really really enjoying it um so i need to do that me and my husband do it together um and we like respond and discuss with it um at the end so it's just like a lot of fun but she just woke up from her first nap and so, like I said, we're just going to do some playtime, um, some independent play, as um, I make a to-do list. Okay, I just finished my to-do list. If I'm honest, I set myself up for failure with my to-do list um, because it's a lot to um, have to do, especially with her and how she sleeps and naps and all the things. Um, so it all just depends on how much I can get done, but I do need to go to the grocery store as well. Um, I don't know if we'll even get that far, um, but Whenever Jonah comes home from work, we're probably all going to go to the grocery store because we live on the fourth floor. I can grocery shop with her. I can grocery shop with her and all of that. It's just like bringing the groceries upstairs with her and it's just a lot. So I would prefer to do it with Jonah. Okay, sorry the lighting's pretty awful. Um, I'm gonna get a little pan filled up with some water and then put some sponges in there so that she can just like put her hands in it and splash around. Just a little bit of sensory play. And like this. I'm just gonna cut it up. Two clean sponges. Cut this one up into threes so she has more. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here. following the outlet like sleep windows so I'll track whenever it's kind of a newer thing so I'll track whenever she falls asleep and then whenever she wakes up and it'll tell me when her next sleep window should be and she woke up around sometimes it's accurate and sometimes it's not accurate this time I don't think it's accurate I can already tell she's getting really tired and it says she still has another hour that she's supposed to be awake. And I highly doubt that she'll make it that that long. She's already yawning and like rubbing her eyes and stuff. Um, she had a pretty short nap. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think she'll make it that long. Um, so sometimes they go off of this and sometimes they don't. For the first week it was like really, really good. But I think they're expecting her to stay, like stay awake a lot longer. But if I keep her awake for longer periods of time she's screaming so I can't do that so I just kind of like go off my own but I also still like to use this just for like reference of when the longest she's supposed to be awake if that makes sense um because last night it was awful um she was awake for four hours four or five hours and it was not good at all so um I think I have to feed her in 24 minutes, 24, 25-ish minutes. So, um, 
I'm probably going to lay her down after that. changed her butt so I'm gonna feed her and see if I can lay her down how's that sound does that sound good see you later I'm going to I'm going to take nap I'm going to take nap I don't know why everything looks so blue but um I was taking a nap um I ended up stop vlogging yesterday um in the middle of the day because Jonah came home we just kind of hung out as family um, but I planned to do a nighttime routine tonight. Last night was a little rough, um, so I planned to do one tonight, but I'm really excited to show you guys her updated, um, nighttime routine. Got out of the bathtub. She normally is super cranky and all of that. She does not like to be cold, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna change her diaper or put a diaper on her, um, lotion and all the things. I've been really loving this lotion. It's the Shea Moisture lotion. Um, but I also have this lotion that I really like as well. It's super clean um, from Pipette. But um, we just go in between this one and that one. So I'm gonna use this one tonight. Um, so I just put her in this little onesie and then I put her sleep sack on her. I would use the Kite Baby sleep sack, but it doesn't quite fit her yet. She's three months and she's um, almost 12 pounds, not quite. But um, the reason I can't put the, she's just really long. She's just really long. So um, the Kite Baby is still like really big around her chest right here and it kind of goes over her head. So don't want that while you're snoozing. Don't want that when you're snoozing. So the sleep sack that we have been using is the Halo one. Um, just for right now until she can fit into her kite baby. So I also have been giving her her vitamin D drops at night. Um, and then I will brush her teeth with Tom's. If you're new here, she does have two baby teeth. She We're still using the Free to Baby sound machine and nightlight. Um, and I just turn it on. Well, I look crazy, but so um, after I get to brushing her teeth and giving her vitamin, I like to read her this little book. Um, my soon-to-be sister-in-law got it for her, and I love reading it to her. It's so sweet and so special. So I read her this, and then I read her another book. Normally, it's like the uh, just a short, like colorful book, so that she can look at it, and then I'll feed her. Now, the, this is the real challenge to rock her to sleep, which takes normally forever. It is now, um, it is now 8.16. So I start her routine at 7.30. So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Go on Chick Fil A. I agree. I'm excited. Okay.
the four month recap of Naira's four months. I got her down for a nap, so we're gonna try and do this, see if she'll stay asleep the whole time. As usual, I keep notes in my phone of all the, during the month of things that like we've done, all the things. So, um, there wasn't, I feel like this month was like her biggest like milestone. She woke up Monday last week and just decided she was gonna be a big girl and did a whole bunch of things. But a lot of the things that we did this month was taking her infant stuff out of her car seat and everything like that. Um, September 12th is when she really started playing with her gym for the first time and trying to like grab her stuff. And then a few days later, she was, um, a few days later, she was really trying to like play and like arch her back and like look at things like above her. And so I was like, it's going to be a matter of time before like she actually just like starts rolling over. So on um, the 14th, that's when she started going back to belly all by herself. Um, and then September 15th, um, we bought her big girl crib. She has been in an infant, or she's been in a, she's been in a bassinet this whole time. She's fit in a bassinet. She's been fine, but we went out and got her a crib and all that. So we got her a full bedroom suit just because that's the way it worked out. Um, if you're new around here, we do live in a one bedroom apartment because we're renovating a house right now. Um, so. We did get a full bedroom suit. Um, it was just cheaper in the way that all worked out. She gets her own dresser and there's a changing pad, which we don't need the changing pad for her probably when we move into the house, but it'll be nice for our next kid. And September 16th is when we built her crib um, and Jonah tore down her bassinet, which was really hard for me to like walk in there and see her bassinet all the way down. I think it was because like, we she was in it for four months it was a really long time and like i don't know why there were so many strings attached like i woke up and was like oh my gosh this is probably the last time i'm ever gonna lay her down in this bassinet like her being a little baby like this is gonna be her last time like obviously we'll have that bassinet for like our other kids but like this is the last time i'm setting naira down into her baby bassinet because she's becoming a big girl and we're gonna have to move her to her crib so it was like really hard for me i feel like i've been really good since i was pregnant about um like living in the moment and just enjoying each moment um of like stage her pre like their pregnancy and everything like that i've just been really living in the present moment and not wishing time away because I knew when she was here time was only going to get faster and I didn't want that to happen so I was like I'm just going to start living in the present moment and I feel like that was the best thing I could have practiced during my pregnancy um, because now I just really live that out um, as she's here and growing. Um, I do have like some um, downers. These were all like the exciting things. Um, sh since she's been about three and a half months, um, she's been really struggling with sleep. Um, it's been pretty brutal. Um, in between like 12 and 5, she had woken up 15 times one night, just to give you a reference of how much sleep I'm getting. <laughs> um, it's been really, really rough, but. Um, and then she's been really fussy, like trying to lay her down and stuff. But I'm starting to see last night was a lot better. Um, today is, let's see, what is today? I think it's the 19th. Today is September 20th and we're getting a lot better. And I, we're, I think I see the light at the end of the tunnel and I think we're good. So, um... I think that's all I have for her four month recap, but just some updates, some fun updates. So this is our dining room. It looks pretty crazy right now because it's pretty much a storage, like is what we use it for. The plant, we're building her dresser in our room and the plant's gonna come down and go back into our room. A Morse crate's going to come out of there. All the boxes, those boxes need to go to my mom's. Um, and we're trying to sell our table so that we can create that space for Naira's play area, which I'm really, really excited. Little Munchkin is four whole months old today. She's getting so big, but I just set up this little sheet thing. She's a little bit grumpy. 
We'll see if we can make it happen. But this little right. sheet, just for her four month pictures, super quick, super easy. Let's see if we can do this real fast. More the mess, but we have officially gotten rid of our dining room table. So this will be Naira's little play area. I'm so excited. This cage is gonna be, everything's gonna be gone. So I'm really excited to make this her little play area. Amor is very confused. She's never seen this apartment without a table there. <laughs> Currently 8.30, sorry the lighting's so bad. It's 8.30, this is what the playroom's looking like. That's Naira's camera. It's telling me that Naira's sleeping peaceful and telling me good job, which I love. <laughs> um, but this is what the playroom is looking like. This used to be the dining room. Had a big table right here. Elmore's crate used to be back there. Fig was on top, like a fully fig was on top. It was crazy over here, very messy. But we decided to take that away and make this Snyder's little playroom. So I, as you've seen today, we went to Target and we picked up this mirror and then we picked up this six cube organizer thing. So we're gonna make this into like a little area and I'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm done building this. I built this and I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to like nail these in because, and put the rest of them in because I don't wanna wake up Naira. Okay, I think I got it where I want everything. I'm not 100% sure if this is where I want everything quite yet. Ignore everything on the ledge and my dog trying to show herself the blanket. She's obsessed with the mirror and she's obsessed with this blanket she's had since she was a baby. <laughs> But she carries it everywhere with her, but she really likes the mirror, but I thought that that would be so much fun for like tummy time and stuff. I got it like for $7 at Target. I got this six cube shelf from Target, obviously you guys seen that. Um, and each cube is like a little toy. Those I attach to her gym, so those are just sitting up there. It's my breastfeeding pillow. There's a little cushion thing to put my feet on if I wanted to while I'm breastfeeding her and all these cubes I'll show you and then every so often I will rotate her toys um, I plan to do like a little Montessori um, learning style with her but we're off to Target to go get her the love every play gym. Heading into Target to get something for Naira. Almost forgot this. I've just been looking real crazy in my vlogs, but it's fine because it's real life. She's not happy. We are on our way to her four month. Hang on. We are on our way to her four month pediatrician appointment. So I figured I would take you guys along with us um, since I vlogged at her two month appointment. Um, I'm just vlogging on my phone, um, and yeah, I'm really excited, even though it doesn't matter, I'm really excited to see how much she weighs, and how tall she is, and all the things, so. What are you doing? What are you doing? Who <laughs> doesn't like seeing mom with a mask on? Okay, just got back from the pediatrician. She weighs 13 pounds, six ounces, and she is 25, almost 26 inches, I do believe. 
Um, I'll have to look at her paper, it's in her bag, but um, yeah. She's in the 20th percentile for her weight and the 70th percentile for her height. So she's just a tall, skinny little thing. Um, and I had talked to her about like purees and all that stuff and I'm just probably gonna wait until six months. I don't think I'm gonna start anything um, anytime soon, so. End the vlog here. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna really try to be better on YouTube. I really enjoy like going back and watching my videos and stuff like that and like their little like home videos kind of thing for, you know, Nye to watch when she grows up and you know, just for me and Jonah as we are growing a family and all the things, so. Yeah, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.